Let's look at uh, this sample problem here. In a calorimet calorimetry experiment, 7.46 grams of potassium chloride is dissolved in 100.0 milliliters of water, which is equivalent to 100 uh, grams. Uh, at an initial temperature of 24.1 degrees Celsius. Now, the final temperature of the solution is 20 degrees Celsius. What is the molar enthalpy of solution of potassium chloride? So, let's go back and let's look at some of the information that we're given here. We're given the mass of the um, potassium chloride, which is uh, 7.46 grams. Um, we're given here the volume right but more importantly here we're going to be given the mass now of the water so this is pretty much the surroundings right? uh, we've got an initial temperature so T I being 24.1 degrees Celsius and the final temperature T F being 20 degrees Celsius. What is the molar enthalpy of the solution? Well, another thing that's really important to be able to address in this question is really potassium chloride. This is, so we've got the potassium chloride in, um, in this experiment. It is dissolved, so it's uh, dissolved in water, right? So what's happening here is pretty much the KCl is going to dissolve, right? While the water, which is really the surroundings, right? So in terms of this reaction, this reaction would have a change in delta H or enthalpy change based on a solution reaction, right? Now, a uh, few things to also know. Well, of KCl, we want to find out the uh, the molar mass of KCl, right? And the molar mass of KCl is 74.6 grams per mole. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to find out the number of moles because what's happening here in this reaction, we have a change in enthalpy of this dissolving of the um, uh, the potassium, right? And outside, right, of this, we've got really the um, the heat of the water, so the calorimeter, right? So delta H is going to represent the potassium dissolving. The Q here is going to represent the water. Now, however, this delta H we know is equivalent to delta H is equal to N times delta H of whatever the reaction is, which happens to be a solution. So what we need to do is we need to be able to find this molar enthalpy uh, of this actual solution, right? So in order to find really that, really this is what we're, 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 we're gonna get. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna substitute this here into this equation, right? Because we can actually find N using here mass and the molar mass, right? So think stoichiometry, um, you know, and, and trying to calculate the number of moles. So to do that, well, if we divide these actual two values, mass, we are going to get a value of moles, which is 0 0.1 uh, moles of KCl. Okay. So now we've got, instead of delta H, we're going to put in N delta H of solution is equal to Q. But what does Q represent? Q is represented by... MC delta T. So this is going to represent pretty much the heat transfer of from the water, if there is one. Uh, and here we've got pretty much our change in enthalpy of the potassium chloride dissolving. Now, one thing to keep in mind, notice here this change in temperature. We've got TF is equal to 20 degrees Celsius, and just for argument's sake, I'm going to remove the uh, point zero just uh, when I'm solving this question. And we've got a an initial temperature of 24.1 degrees Celsius. So in other words, our delta T is going to equal to 20 subtracted by 24.1 degrees Celsius, which is going to give us a value of negative 4.1 degrees Celsius. So now, because we get this delta T being a negative, 
we know that energy is going to, or heat is going to leave from the water to cause this KCl to dissolve, right? So in other words, because this value is a negative 4.1 and we're, we're dealing with um, our pretty much our a delta H is equal to Q, right? So our, um, our solution and pretty much um, outside of our solution, right, our surroundings, we are looking at pretty much what we call an endothermic reaction. So what's happening is this Q value that we're going to get on this side is going to give us a negative value. So if we've got a negative value, it means heat is leaving from this system uh, of the water going to, you know, dissolve this KCl. So what we're going to do here now is let's su start to substitute um, our values into this, uh, this question. So let's uh, do the following. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of N here, right? So what we're going to do is get rid of N, divide this side by N, divide this side, and let's erase some of this here, and divide this also by N, right? So the Ns divide out, which will leave us delta H of solution is equal to mass times specific heat capacity of water times a change uh, our number. So the mass of the water we got 100 grams. We're going to multiply that by the specific heat capacity of water, which is 4.18 uh, joules per gram degrees Celsius. And we're going to multiply it by negative 4.1 degrees Celsius. We're going to divide this by the, uh, the number of moles that we got of um, the potassium chloride, which is 0 0.1 moles. And now what we're going to do is go into canceling out our units or dividing out our units. Grams divide out, degrees Celsius divide out. And all we're left with is joules per mole, which are the units for our enthalpy change or our molar enthalpy change. So when we divide these two, we are going to get a de delta H of solution which is going to give us a Q value here that is negative, All right? So now be careful with this. We're going to get negative um, 17,138 joules per mole. However, this is the energy that is being released by the water. So when we're looking at our change in enthalpy, it will be the opposite. Because remember, we've already determined that it's endothermic. And if it's endothermic, delta H, right, of whatever the reaction is, which happens to be a solution here, has to be a positive value. So in other words, all we're going to do is drop this uh, negative value Right? We're going to drop this negative value because our delta H of the solution has to be positive if it's going to be endothermic. And, and how do we know that it's endothermic? As we said, the change in water, water is going from a high temperature to a lower temperature. So for water to decrease in temperature, the energy that is required here to drop this temperature goes somewhere else. Where does it go? It actually goes to dissolve the potassium chloride. Hence the reason why this value now, uh, based on two significant digits as two significant, or sorry, three significant digits, because uh, three significant digits is the least number of significant digits in my question, uh, is equal to um, 1,000, uh, sorry, 100, uh, 17,100 joules per mole. And more specifically, I could convert this to 17.1 kilojoules per mole of energy. So in other words, pretty much enthalpy change for this, right, uh, that dissolves the potassium chloride is 17.1 kilojoules per mole. Now the reaction, as we said, is endothermic. The molar enthalpy of the solution for potassium chloride has to be in a positive value, right, because really energy is being released from the water right, Q, to dissolve the potassium chloride.